Hello everyone, so today I have a really cool gambit for you guys. This gambit sacrifices a rook. It's a gambit against white, and just saying it's a rook. Not a minor piece, not a pawn, but a rook. It's super cool. Let's look at it. So it starts off with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, pretty normal. And then you'll see most players go for the Italian game, bishop c4, attacking the weak f7 pawn. And then you'll also see that if you play, let's say, bishop c5, then the knight can't come directly to g5 to attack the weak f7 pawn because the queen can take. So they'll wait for you to play knight f6. Then then uh, your opponent will play knight g5. Now, it, once, he, once he does this, you want to break up the connection with the bishop on the f7 pawn. Uh, you, so you have to play d5. The pawn captures. And now, you'll see most players play knight to a5. Attacking the bishop, getting a bishop off the diagonal. But we're going to play uh, knight to d4. Um, This is pretty cool because now, now the bishop can still be on the diagonal. And your opponent can push d6. Now, like still having that diagonal... And now connecting that diagonal to the f7 pawn. Now we're not we're not even gonna worry about that. We're gonna play queen takes d6. Now we're gonna take that pawn back. But now your opponent can play knight takes f7 with the fork on the queen and rook. If let's say you, you make a bad move, he could easily take your queen with check. So now we must get our queen out of the way, attacking the bishop and we're also attacking the g2 pawn. Remember that. That's going to be very important. He's probably thinking, okay, we're just, he's just going to take his bishop. We're, I'm going to get his rook. He's just going to get my bishop. I'm easily going to win this game. But once he does that, we're not going to take his bishop. We're going to take that g2 pawn. Now, the other, your opponent wants to keep his rook safe. He doesn't want to lose it, right? So he's going to play rook f1. So now the rook is protected by the king. But now... You can play queen to e4 check. And white only has two moves. The king can't go anywhere, so he has to block the check. He could block it with the queen, but now you could just take the queen with your knight. Now he's just down a queen, so you can easily win from here. He could also block with his bishop. But you can go knight to f3, which is checkmate. Because the, the bishop... On e2, can't take our knight because it's pinned to the king. And now the king can't move. So this is a smothered checkmate. This is really cool because it's, I mean, I'm just going to reiterate. I'm just going to tell you guys again. You are you just sacrificed a rook, but you still won the game. And this, I think this is move 10 or something. So you already won the game in the first 10 moves and while sacrificing a rook. So I think this is a pretty good... Pretty good gambit, um, in my opinion, because it is pretty much guaranteeing you a win if he takes your rook. So I hope you guys use it. If you like this video, uh, subscribe and like it. If you have any questions or like you would like to talk to me about how well you guys did or how bad you guys did or how I could make my videos better or how this gambit might not work, might not work for you or might work for you, please comment on it below. So thank you for watching my video.